In this tutorial, I just wanted to show you the to call function in Excel. And basically, what it does is it turns an array and puts it into one single column, which is great whenever you have, for example, dates like here that you know they're kind of arranged kind of in a funky way, and you just want them all to be in one column. So to do this, um, using it, it's very simple. Equals to call. Open parentheses. And only one argument is required, as you can tell, because it's only one that doesn't have the brackets around it, and that's the array with just the dates. And you highlight this, you close parentheses. As you can see, now the dates are arranged in the way that we want them to 6-1, 6-8, 6 and it's arranged um, in the order. Um, that said, too, though, there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do with this function to make it to where you do which make it to where you can do what you want it to do. So for example, let's just say you have dates but it's not, you know, clean like this, right? It's like this and there's a gap. You know, that doesn't really work too well um, and with just this, but you can adjust the formula in comma and choose things to ignore. So you can type in zero to keep all values, which is what it defaults to. You can ignore blanks, ignore errors, or ignore blanks and errors. Let's just say you wanted to ignore blanks in close parentheses. And as you can see now, um, it I redid the formula, and it is ignoring the blanks that are in the cells. And you can also get it to where um, it will ignore the errors too. Also, one thing to know, um, I know that the dates look funky right here too. That's because I just had it to where it was this plus seven. So I need to, um, just for demonstration purposes, but yeah, now it doesn't look funky anymore because I adjusted it real quick. So, um, also you can make it to where you can scan a different way. So, for example, it defaults to scanning by the row. So, for example, you know, scan by row. So, first row and then second row. Or you can have in true and then it will scan by column. Which, and this is going to look kind of funky. Because it's going the, you know, row by row, it's going 3, 4, 5. Scan by column, it's going D, E, F, G, so on. So, it's going to look fun, kind of funky for this, but if your data is set up differently, you could um, see 6, 1, 7, 23, 6, 8, 8, 3, so on and so forth. But if depending on how your numbers are structured, then this could um, very well help you out. So I just get back to where it's false. Now, one thing is that this is a formula, and I'm using a new version of Excel. So the formula naturally spells, um, if it's an older, older, version, older version, you might have to do control shift enter, make it an array formula, which would be just highlighting the area and then doing control shift enter um, to work with arrays. I'm using a newer version of Excel, so it naturally spells like this. Um, one thing to note too is that, you know, let's just say you wanted to keep this, you just highlight this, control C, go to the right a bit, alt E S. And then doing that, you can uh, pay special, or you can right click. But well, so Alt E S values, click that. And now, I, and now we just go through and you format it um, to be a short date. And now we can see it's not based on the formula anymore. And yeah, it's formatted the way they want it to. So if you found this cool format to be helpful, if you did like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Um, you have a great day.